Okay, so I've literally just gone live. I've just clicked on. Um, I realised I think the camera is the wrong way around and you're reading everything from the wrong side. So sorry about that. I'm not quite sure how that happened. So just want to introduce everyone to my new art kits that I've started up. Um, and I've called them Hearty Art Painting Kits. What we've got here are, um, this is the main, this is the first one that I've done. This is a tulip one. I'll hold it up higher. And these are what the kits look like when they come to you. They are on offer at the moment because it's an introductory price. There's five to choose from at the moment, but I'm going to be doing one a week. Because I also do um, art tutorials over on another very well-known <laughs> video platform, which I shan't mention because I don't want to get into trouble. Um, so you, all the tutorials that link up with the kits are over on YouTube as well anyway. So within the box you get everything you need, the acrylic paints, the canvas, brushes, instruction sheet, you get a QR code so it links straight onto the video on the uh, other well-known platform. <laughs> um, there are reference images, there's a traceable if needed, um, so let's go inside. So as you can see this is everything you get. At the very bottom is the canvas. If it needs a pre-drawn image on, it will have the pre-drawn image on for you. Also, we've got here, there is a very brief instructional sheet, but it's all you need just to get you started. And then there's a QR code, I don't know if you can see it there, and that links onto the main tutorial. So you get the whole video tutorial in there. Um, and of course, there's all my other links there, so you can follow me everywhere else. Um, We've got reference images as well, so that you can paint from my painting, but you can also paint from what I painted from. So if you want to go off and do your own style, that's absolutely fine. There's a couple of paper pa um, palettes there. All the um, acrylic paints are really high quality ones. They're in little pots. These kits are all made up by me, so um, made to order. So you get exactly the right amount that you need, probably with a little bit more, because I don't want you to run out. You also get a full set of six um, brushes and I make sure that in the tutorials I only use those brushes so that you know exactly what brushes you're using, you don't need anything else. Alright, so that's what the kits look like when they come to you, I think that's everything. So there you go. Um, these are the ones I've done so far, so this is a tulips one that I did the other week. I'm trying to do one a week, sometimes two a week. I just want to kind of build up how many kits there are for you. And we are going to do one live in a minute. This is a seascape one that we did, which is for um, sort of complete beginners. This is a lamb one that we did a couple of weeks ago. Then we've got a very, very kind of loose abstract flower scene that's for complete beginners. And then we've got these cuties. I absolutely love doing these. They were so much fun. Um, so yeah, so there's five, hang on, one, two, three, yeah, five kits available so far. Now, tonight we're going to have a go at doing something more kind of tropical flowers. Very bright colours. I'll bring this forward a bit, see if you can see. I've drawn in just some flowers there, but they're very kind of wild tropical ones. So we're going to have a go at those and just enjoy. So again, I'm here really to showcase my painting tips. I've literally just started, so there's not many to choose from at the moment. Hello, I am here by the way. Hi. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's just five, but I'm going to do one a week from now on. And if you go over to the other well-known video platform, <laughs> I have lots and lots of tutorials on there, there's hundreds, but they're not all kits, so um, I'm starting from this month, from now on every tutorial will also be available as a kit, and at the moment on TikTok shop they are reduced a little bit because I've just started, um, but of course you can also get them um, through my other platforms, the link is in the bio. Okay, let's get started. So what we're going to go for here Oh, I'll show you the kind of colours. Now, for all my kits, you're only ever going to need a certain amount of colours. You can make all colours you want from just having the primary colours. These eight colours here are the only colours you ever really need for anything. So, we've got um, a lemon yellow, a mid yellow, a very scarlet red. This is a pinky red magenta. Then we've got ultramarine blue and cyan blue. By the way, I store them in ice cube tubs. I just it's so handy and they've got a lid and they stay nice for a long time. We've got a bit of black, a bit of titanium white, 
Then we've got um, sienna brown, it's like a browny colour. And then we've got a medium green. So today we're going to focus mainly on blues for the background. And that's very hard for you to see the pencil there. And like peaches and pinks and tropical, lovely tropical colours. Because we're kind of coming out of spring now, aren't we? Hopefully. And into the summer here in the UK. We're getting a bit of sunshine at last. I'm here down in Cornwall and the sun has been shining today. I'm very blessed. Um, although I have been working all day, so I haven't seen much of it. Right, let's get started. So I want to kind of show you my palette as I go along so you can see what colours I'm mixing. I'm going to use the bigger flat brush from the kit and I also suggest, I don't know if you can you just see there in the background, have at least two or three jars of water when you're painting so you get most of the dirt off in one, most of the wasted um, paint and then the next one you can keep quite clean then you're not up and down, up and down, up and down all the time. Right, so let's get to it. If you've got any questions please do ask in the comments. Hopefully I can see them. Um, I'm not sure as I, going live is not something that I do. This is my first proper one. So type on the Shein app, you won't regret it. Oh, somebody's trying to tell me to go on the Shein app. Right, um, so I'm going to get a lot of the scarlet red. Okay. And make sure you've got the rag next to you. So when you, when you scrape off your brush, wash off your brush. Okay that you have something to dry it on because it will be too wet you don't want to get everything too wet so so far we've just got the scarlet red oh and I always just have masses of white out because use white and everything and I'm gonna have some of the medium yellow that I mentioned at the beginning this will be uploaded to another well-known video site <laughs> once it's done as part of another tutorial so say hello if you're out there it's Saturday night and I'm on here painting, hoping somebody will come and say hello. Hello! <laughs> okay, so we've got, basically, we want to make a nice orangey colour. I'm looking for kind of nice, bright, warm, tropical colours. Hopefully I've lifted that high enough above comments so you can see. And I'm just mixing the two until I'm kind of happy with the orange that I'm getting. I think I'm going to use all that yellow okay try and get it off the brush as much as you can we will end up mixing more of it anyway as we go along can you see that's coming out like a nice fiery orange I'm loving that okay because we're going for tropical colors as I said earlier but if you've only just come on I'm looking for yellows oranges peaches and kind of magenta pink so it's going to look really nice and tropical. Now, because I've just made that colour, I actually want to make a tint of it. So to make a tint, we're just going to add some white, which basically means we're going to lighten it up. Okay, that's the kind of orange that I'm looking for. It's almost like a peachy orange, isn't it? And that's exactly what I wanted. We can still have some of the darker orange for some bits, maybe right in the centre of them, flowers. So we're just trying to make sure we get as many of our colours ready and we know how to make our colours so that we're ready to go. So I'm washing off my brush in the dirty water, followed by the clean. I'm going to pick up some magenta, which is our other red. It's more on the pink side of a red because we're going to be using a lot of that. But I want to tint that up with white to give me another kind of tropical, bright tropical flower colour. Don't want it to go too light, although there will be areas when there are, but I can add the white as we go. So these are the colours I'm looking for. Nice tropical flower colours. So we're going to keep it at that. So we've got the orange. I want to just get some more yellow because I want to add yellow in as well. But just, just the yellow. I don't actually want it to be mixed this time to make the orange. So I'm just going to put some yellow back on my palette. In the pack you will have paper palettes. So um, although I'm using this nice strong firm plastic one. 
the kits have the paper one um, obviously it's just so that you can um, get rid of it um, and of course eventually in time you may even want to invest in one if you want to take up painting right they're all the colours I really need for the foreground for the flowers. We are going to do the background afterwards because I, when, when the kits come out to you, they're going to be drawn on like this. So that's the bit you want to do first so you don't lose the picture. So I'm going to pop down my palette, clean my brushes off again. I'm not going to be using that big brush again. That was just so I could mix some colours ready. Now the brush... I really want to be using for this out of the kit if I just hold it up to you it's called the angle brush okay so this is the kit and you can see in there that's it as it comes new obviously if you look at mine it's been well used and actually the edge on it is a bit flared there's not a nice straight edge on there and that's what we're really looking for so I've overused mine so I'm just going to use one it won't look like the one in the kit, but it is exactly the same. But I haven't destroyed this one by scumbling too much on the canvas. So if I've changed, that's why. Right, let's get started. So we've mixed all the colours we want. And we're going to go ahead and try and paint in these tropical flowers. I do want to use my angle brush straight away. Because when you're doing things that kind of curve but have points to them and small areas you kind of want to be using an angled brush it has such a wide range of uses in painting I do love the angled brushes right so we're going to come into the middle of some of these flowers and they're going to be very orange in the middle we are doing these as really nice beautiful tropical flowers so we want to start in the middle dark but then we're going to blend that out to be kind of more much lighter as we go it might be that we need to put a couple of coats on that's fine we'll all i always say coats it's layers really coats is for when you're painting walls um so for those of you that don't know me i am a working artist based in england i'm down in cornwall i am a working artist i sell my artwork and on lots of different products so you can see them all all the links are in my bio. Um, so now I've put the main oranges in the centre. I'm going to just blend in now a slightly lighter version. It's only slightly lighter. But it's enough. Oh, and also don't forget when you're using your angle brush to kind of have the sweeping movement. Okay, and go in the direction of the um, flowers. Okay. Because if you go in the direction, you're already creating, automatically creating, that beautiful shape of the petal. Okay, now when you get these kits, you don't have to draw. Because your drawing skills aren't necessary for painting. They really aren't. Um, I will be sending you the canvas. We're already with it drawn on. The fun bit will be you finishing it off now i'm coming in with some more white on that lovely orangey color because i kind of want to peach it up a bit can you see that just peaching it up we really want it to be much lighter now than the rest of that color and we're just coming in and we're blending that into the rest of the other petals okay now we're going to do lots of layers and every painting <laughs> I always say has a really ugly stage so if you're looking at it and thinking oh my this looks awful please don't worry I do every single time I look I look at the beginning and I'm like how can I ever make that <laughs> into a beautiful painting but with time and layers and changing things as you go, you'll get there. Okay, so I'm just coming in with that lighter colour. And I'm really just kind of marking in where I want the different colours to be. Now I'm really going to come in with just some white. Just white towards these tips. 
and I'm really going to lighten up. So I'm going to come from the white into the petal. All right, try not to pick up too much of that orange because you want it to be as light as possible. And then you're coming into the rest of the petal. We're lightening it up as we go. There we go. We will come back. Don't forget to go over these layers. But we're just really trying to pull together our base layers to give us an idea of the colours. So I'm getting my white, which is almost completely white. And I'm just pulling it down in that direction so that the white is coming into the dark. You don't want to spread any more of that dark down into the corners. We want to go from the lighter to the darker now to blend in. But this is only the base layer. We'll be coming in to do darker, much, much darker if we need it, or much, much lighter if we need it towards the end. So I'm getting too much paint on my brush. So I'm just going to wash it off. You don't want your brush to be too clogged if you want to come in and do these bottom corners. You see, now that I've got more control over how much paint is on my brush and because I'm blending it in whoop, oh there's some magenta there I actually do want to mix some magenta in in a minute can you see that lovely pink it's really going to help with the tropical colours excuse me that's my noisy son upstairs he's a teenager I have two of them so they're just they're just teenagers together <laughs> They don't know how to be quiet. I can ask a million times and I still don't think they would be quiet. Right. Okay. So in that background there, because it's underneath, again, I've got a lot of my brush, so I'm just pulling it off all the time. We don't want too much on. I'm actually going to come in with that darker orange just one little layer because we can come back and finish that afterwards and here as well use the angle of the brush as your guide just really pull in those dark shadows underneath I'm kind of making this up as I go along I'm just imagining in my head where kind of the darker petals would be okay and I may even come in and in the center start pulling in some of that red fiery red there we go nice but we will come back to this once we've gone round and done all of the flowers we'll come back and we'll make sure we've got it exactly how we want it coming up here slightly different orange not too dark okay I'm going to put some more in there just to fill that gap a little bit. I'm going to leave that flower now because we've got the base colours in. We will be coming in with more and more layers as we go along. Okay, let's have some fun with this one. I'm just looking over there because that's where I've got what I'm looking from. So, right, so we're coming in again with this darker orange right in the beginning. This is going to be another orange one and the other ones are going to be really gorgeous magenta ones. So I'm going to use the dark in the middle and then we'll come around again by moving in the shape of the petal you're immediately creating the effect of movement and 3D-ness but it is as we start to put the different values on from the dark to the light that's when it will really start to look 3D. Um, that's in the back, so I almost want to give that a darker feel to it. There we go. These are beginner art kits, so everything I'm doing here, if you're a beginner, you absolutely can do this. Just follow along with me on this video if you buy the kit. Obviously this kit isn't online yet because I'm doing it now, <laughs> but there are five other kits on there and all the videos are there for you to follow. For those of you that have just come on, I think I'm wearing the worst dress. Look, I have got these such big sleeves and they're getting in the way. Um, right. 
So we're going to come on and just lighten that up now. So I've got a slightly lighter version of that orange. And then we're pulling that down into the darker. It's not light enough, so I'm just going to add some more. There we go. Now remember, it's the first layer. Don't judge yourself on that first layer. Let the brush do the work for you. If it's creating some nice patterns, then fine, leave it. Um, where are we? Let's get some of that lighter orange again. So we're coming from the center and out with our angled brush. And just creating light as we come along. We want to show how these dark colours are leading into the lighter ones. And I've used quite a lot of white up on this one. Right, I'm going to pull from the end of that petal now, just to make sure I'm pulling the light into the darker. Same up here. I'm just going to start light and when I come in later I'm probably going to come in with even lighter tips of those petals. Okay remember this is the first layer we're just kind of getting the colours in the right place. Don't forget to put water on your brush I can tell mine's drying out because it's not flowing. As soon as it starts to feel as though it's catching on the tooth of that canvas get some paint on it. Um, I think we need this one to be slightly darker over there because it's in the background. I'm just going to blend that in. Can you see there? I've just made it slightly darker. We can come in and do the details afterwards. So again, I'm coming in with that slightly lighter colour. It is only slightly lighter and then I'm blending it down into the middle. Use your brush to guide the shape of the petal round, okay? I'm coming down here to that point going to remove as much paint as possible. Get my brush wet again and I'm going to pull some darker in because we've lost the dark from that one. It's just a case of going over and layering. We've got layers to do here as well still and we will be coming back and doing more but I just felt like adding a bit more in there whilst I'm here. want some fire in that middle. Let me bring out, yeah I think when we come to do our top layers we'll add more of that red in the middle and it kind of really makes the middle of the flowers pop. That's what I love about botanicals is flowers of any kind or trees. It, you can kind of play around with it because well nature's just all over the place isn't it so we can make it up as to how we want it to be. Right, coming in with some more of that darker orange because I want to kind of get this petal here. As it's underneath the other ones, it will be darker, but we can come on top later and add some much lighter layers. Same here. I think there's a bit under there anyway. And then we're going to come in lighter to do the tip of this one. And we're starting at the tip and pushing down into the dark because we want the light to kind of start taking over now rather than the dark pushing into the light. We really want the lighter colour. See, that's not light enough. We want the lighter colour to push into the petals from the point on the end. And don't worry, you don't have to get it perfect first time. 
stickers will be coming through at, at the end. Well, we're probably going to do another couple of layers to get these how we want them. But it's just to give us an idea so far of where we're going with it. Let's get some of that in there. Nice. Okay, so that's the second of the orangey yellow tropical colours. I think they're the only ones. Oh, this one and this one. These little ones are also the same colour. So let's try and get them done as well. Just need to make some more of that orange up that we have in the middle. Get it as orange as we can. Right. There we go. Okay. So they're only little these ones, so we can just have tiny little middles like that pushing out. And we're only really kind of just giving the impression of a flower back there. We don't really have to do too much because it's so little. Um, we'll get the lighter colour. And push back from the edge. And there's another one here. <clears throat> come in here. We're going to come in with much lighter highlights at the end, as I've said. And we'll probably come in with the real dark, dark parts as well. over here mixing colours if I've gone quiet it's because I'm focusing on mixing my colours right now <laughs> I did say at the beginning which um, colours to mix so if you want to look back I will be loading it onto my other video platform that you probably all know about and I can't mention which is where all my painting kit videos are anyway. The full length are all on that site. You know what I mean. Okay, so there's another little one in the background. Just wash my brush off again. Right. So this one down here again, we're going to come in with some dark colours from the middle, just to kind of push them out a little bit. Then come in with some lighter colour from the edges. And then we'll come over it on our final, our final pass. Okay, so I'm coming from the outside points, the outside edges of the petal. Just take that off there for a minute so I can get to it. Okay. Don't really want to do too much with those little ones now because we will come and finish them off with some finer details and some darks and lights on the next layers. Now, I do actually want to come straight in with the yellow on, oh, too much water on my brush, sorry, hang on. Right, so I'm just gonna put that down because I want this, we're not gonna keep it that yellow, but I want it to be of that yellow kind of feel. I don't want it to be too much of the orange because I'm gonna introduce yellow also into these just going over some of those petals and just introducing little bits of yellow which kind of just give it another bit of something <laughs> it just really makes them more tropical looking so we'll come over with some yellow there on them can you see how that kind of starts to bring them to life a little bit Go. 
I hope whoever's out there watching this is having a nice evening. I hope you're doing good. So I just wanted to add that little dimension, that little kind of wake up of colour. <laughs> and then we're going to add some highlights at the end. There we go. Remember always using the brush to move in a direction of where your object is coming from. So we're trying to show that it's moving out from the middle. So we work out from the middle or at least from the tips into the middle. Either way will give us a nice feeling of that kind of movement. Just notice this petal down here has got loads of white on it. Let's get some yellow in there. Nice. Okay, and we'll mix that in with some more orange. Push that back. And I'm going to do the same here. I have some really yellowy petals on here, I think. Okay. I'll introduce a little bit of yellow on these ones as well, not too much. The yellow mixing in with that orange is kind of making it sort of peachy looking, I don't know if you can see that. Sorry if my head's getting in the way, I have a habit of doing this and then you can't see anything. <laughs> taking quite a bit of that orange away from the middle so we'll come back in again and do that right now on that yellow one that's just a bulb I'm just coming in with that orange and just kind of gently touching it to give it a sense of the orange so that we can see that that's it's one of them it belongs to them but it's an earlier stage right I'm happy with that two layers kind of done on those there's lots more to do but i want to move on to the other flowers because they are all more of magenta color and purples so i just need to get some of that cyan blue out right so here i've already got magenta ready to go it's quite a nice bright pink i love it um but i also kind of want to make a bit of purple so the cyan blue that you'll get in the pack is what i'll use for that I think what I need to do is take it straight from that magenta. It's still too blue. Let me get some more magenta from here. The more magenta you add, the more lovely and purpley it will get. But what we will need, it will be a dark purple. We need to add white to make a tint of it. So, yeah, that's coming on now. So I'm just going to take some white. And then you'll see if it's too much of a blue purple or not which I think it is, yeah, far too blue, which means we need to add more of the magenta and then we will start to see it come to life. Keep going until you get the colour you want. Can you see now that purple is changing and becoming more, more of a pinky purple as opposed to still looking quite blue and that's what we want. We want that nice pinky purple. Right, I think I'm at the shade of purple that I want. But now I need to get the tint that I want. Which means I need to add white. To lighten it up and make a much paler tint than there is there. Can you see that? It really just lightens it up. Just trying to get it in the camera. There we go. So it's just lightening up the purple, giving us a nice tint so that we've got the darker purple for maybe the centre of the flowers, the lighter purple as we come out. Same for the magenta, I've just made a tint there. Right, I'm going to move that water because it's really filthy, which is why I have lots of jars while I'm here. Okay, I'm going to add some white into my magenta to get a really nice pink, lighter pink. Okay, I'm going to 
ready? Let's go for it. So we're going to do exactly the same as we did with the other ones, but we're just going to use the darker magenta in the middle rather than the darker orange. There we go. I need more water on my brush. It's dragging on the canvas. If you can feel your brush, your brush should flow. If it's not flowing, you haven't got enough water. And if it's doing what it's doing on me now, I've added too much water, which means it's not leaving enough paint on there and it's just going a bit transparent. So be careful of that too. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is pick up the lighter version of the pink that I have there and I'm just going to blend it down from the corners into the middle. But we are going to lighten it up a lot at the end. It's not much lighter than the middle, is it? It is on my palette. Much lighter on my palette. Let's see if that works better. Yeah, it's a bit lighter. Okay. There we go. Much better. Can't see where I've drawn, but the joy of that is that we can just make it up now. <laughs> the whole thing with these kits as well is that you know you've got these videos, but you can go off and do it however you want. You get all the right colours, you get everything you need. At the moment, I've only used one of the brushes, but you'll get a whole pack of six with your kit. Right, so we now need to, while I've got the light pink, I'm just going to come in on this one and put some lighter pink on the edges. Remember when you're doing this, the brush needs to move in the direction of the petal because you're already creating then a sense of 3D. And then all we've got to do is put the different values from dark to light of colours in and then that kind of helps. We've got our directions then. We've got our 3D rather. Okay, so now I'm going to come into that darker pink, much darker. I'm just going to dry it off so that I'm picking up only the magenta. There we go. And we're going to come from the middle and out because we want to blend that in. As you can see, we're just blending that in by pushing down from the centre and kind of lifting the brush as we go out. Need more paint, touch more water, remember not too much. Putting some blue on there, don't want that. Right, so I'm coming from the centre and out. From the centre and out. And because we're going in the direction, hopefully you can start to see how the petals start to come together and actually look like a flower. Remember, this is only the first coat, so there's lots to do yet. We're just basically getting our first layer of colour down. I need to kind of get in there for that bit. It's a bit difficult, so just go careful and slow. Okay. Right, so then we're going to come down and do this one as well. I've got the darker pink on my brush still, so we'll start in the middle. I haven't actually used the purple, but there's a bit of purple in there. I don't think I need the purple. I've made it up, but I don't want to use it. I think I just like the purple, um, sorry, the pink and the oranges and the peaches. So we'll stick with that. Get some more coming directly from the middle and feeding that brush down, just kind of flicking it round. That's what I love about angled brushes, they're great. They can go follow lines really nicely, but just help you to blend in the colours in a nice kind of swooping movement. Hopefully you can see that. Right, and then we're going to come from the light side 
with a lighter pink slightly in. Put some more. If anyone is watching out there, please do say hello in the comments. I might not see it because I'm concentrating so hard, but or send me a message. I might see it after. Right. So we're using a lighter pink to come up round from the end of the petal and up. Then that will give us the motion of what the petal's doing. We're basically using the paint to tell a story of what's happening with those flowers. I'm going to get some more of that pink. A bit more white. And again, we're coming from the tip of the petal and round. From the tip of the petal and round. Just round here. There we go. I think maybe this bit here, there's only a little bit down there. I might just go really dark with that. And just kind of do it as though that's another another plant another pink one but we don't really need to talk about it too. when i say talk about it we don't need to sort of show what's going on too much it's just in the background same for that okay we'll just leave it at that right i'm happy with the base layers there now this plant here has got a stalk on it but I don't really want to do it as green I kind of just want to use the colors we've already got because I think that will look better so I'm gonna come down with the magenta color just the magenta on its own and then what I can do is just bring some white along just to lighten it up a bit um, and then what I might even do is mix in some of like our peachy orangey colour. I think we can do a little bit of a mixture there. And while the brush has still got all those colours on, I'm going to create the leaf shapes that are on there. It's quite nice just to see what colours and patterns come out. I'm just adding some extra leaf shapes. Okay, right, I think we are done. For that part, now what we need to do is be more doing our top layers and kind of finishing off each flower. So we need to be very, very aware that this is the final layer. Oops, throwing my brushes around. This is the final layer and we want to get it right. So I want to come in with a really kind of dark red right in the middle of the flowers in areas, not all. Now that, that part of the petal is definitely in the background and much darker. So we want to really get that darker and but blend it into the light a bit. We might we still want it to be lighter. Hopefully you can see with the underneath all the writing. If you can see on that top petal, I'm just kind of blending in a darker colour from the bottom. Okay. Um, this is my first one, so I'm just working out what I need to put where and position wise. So I think I just need to put this higher up next time. Uh, I'm just blending in now the dark in the middle on some more of these petals. Um, because we kind of lost a bit of the darkness in our first layer as we came in with the lighter shades. And just to, to blend it in, we just need to gently, with a brush, just gently scumble it in. I'm going to add some yellow again and come that way so that we can really blend it in. And it just looks like a gradient. Oops, I didn't want to go that, that dark there. There we go. So that's how easy we can change things. 
and that's what we're doing now we put our base color down so we're just thinking about how we want to come in and finish off our flowers make sure they're all blended nicely and they go from dark down to really light towards the end I don't want to lose too much of the yellow that we added because that looked really nice now this petal here should be darker because it's underneath so I'm going to make that darker this is why it's really nice to come in again towards the end now we can still have it light on the ends because the light can be hitting it but we'll just blend it in gently into the darker part there okay now I think I think I'm gonna mix some really light yellow white nice I'm not sure if that's yellow though try again you probably can't see as I'm mixing but um yeah so I'm just going to come in with this light color and just blend it into the shape of the petal more so that it doesn't look like a stark change from one color to the other a bit more here as well on that tip just using a tint of the colors we already had and blending it in using the colors that we already had because we want to make sure it kind of flows um, otherwise it won't look real and we're not going for realism here anyway you know we're just having some fun but and it's nice to kind of get it as real as we can within the limits of an hour or so these kits some are longer than others so the lamb and the birds actually took a good couple of hours but i try and aim for not too much longer than an hour otherwise it can get tiring especially if you're only just starting to learn there that's in the background as well so I've just done that orange and again underneath here is really should be darker because it's underneath so let's go round and make sure we're getting those all right I want to get the darker color in I say darker it's just the darker value of the colors we've been mixing there we go and just kind of bring it down in lines a little bit as well just gentle lines because you do get that on on um, petals anyway don't you you sometimes get those lines on them i think we're getting there with that one but i just need to change the yellow here because that's a bit too bright it needs to be a bit more pastelized there we go um and then we'll come in with Oops, I had a bit too much yellow on my brush there. And just mix that in, blend it in nicely. There we are. So that was just me mixing in some yellow with some of the lighter colour that we had. So yeah, at this point it's just a case of using the colours that we've mixed it, we've mixed and using them however you want to use them to create these lovely flowers however you want them to be. Um, let's have a look right so what we want to do now is to kind of come in with white on the tips so you need to make sure you've got a very clean brush which mine obviously wasn't and just come in with some white I'm gonna bring that white down a little bit just to give us a little highlight on the tip I think I did a bit too much on that one let's see so don't be worried just take a bit off and come in here really important to have your highlight on um, on that last stage because it really does show you where the lights hitting so anything that's kind of curving up 
will have the light kind of hitting it about there and of course you don't want really strong white so you can just do what I'm doing and pop it on and then maybe smudge it in a little bit all right because that is where the light will be landing or you can just leave it on and just have some really nice white highlights they will show up better the highlights will show up better when we get the background colored in right moving on to the next flower the biggest one over here we did quite well with getting some nice ready oranges in there so let's get back into the middle and make sure that it's not too transparent and then we've got some really just vibrant red vibrant reds and oranges like that and if they're underneath we really like that one that should have been a much darker and then we'll come in again and we'll just start to lighten it up with a peachy colour basically orange with a bit of yep white in makes it nice and peachy um, just to give it some transfer from the dark to the light that's better right making sure I've got the colour mixed right we want to try and match it to what we've already been using it needs to be a bit orangier oops that's too red stick some more yellow in that's better right so I really want to come in here and just create that sense of the petal coming in from that end and back with that nice peachy colour make sure we can't see any of that canvas underneath right now we're going to come in much lighter like we did here really get some highlights in at the end because we've really gone very dark in the middle so in order to make it pop now we need to make sure we've got our lovely highlights in there as well remember this is a beginners should only take you well how long have I been on now about an hour but I'm talking as well so I'm stopping and starting so it's about an hour and a half altogether but obviously when you get the whole video with the box with the kit you can stop it and start it and keep going or whatever you want it's up to you that's the joy of not being in a class is that you can kind of just go at your own pace stop and start and have a cup of tea oh i really need a cup of tea right now <laughs> there we go and the, the thing about doing all these different layers is you can really bring in lots of different colors into these petals and bring the highlights even in between the dark there on some of them there we go nice okay so I'm happy with that now we're going to come in with the highlights like we did on the other one Oops. so I'm just getting some white completely on its own I'm just going to pull round and really bring some light into those ends just smudge it up use your fingers if you need to I do it all the time if I feel as though I'm not getting the effect I want with the brush then just smudge it in with your finger go that's way too much so I'm just gonna take some off and then just bring some round that's really lightened up that little bit but to be honest that mm, that flower's above it so it should probably have a bit of shadow there so let's leave that dark I'll go over that and make that dark again so as you're going along you'll spot these things so it's all good right 
And we're going to come in and just finish off, put some more layers here. I'm going to come in, I remember we went over the red and the orange in the middle, so we need to come back and kind of get that fiery again. That fiery tropical colour. Just look it. Oops, maybe not that much. I <laughs> um, think I'm having too much fun. And flick it outwards from the middle. Okay. You just need to have like a sense of some petals. They're just the little ones. They're in the background. They don't have to be super duper detailed. Of course, if you want to try and make it super duper detailed, you can. The choice is yours. But... Um, that's not really my intention. So as long as there's some idea of some petals, I'm happy. Make sure the canvas is completely covered. You don't want any white bits. I'm going to go nice. Oh, I've got paint all over my sleeve. I knew that was going to happen any moment. Right. So, what I do want to do is to bring some yellow into these here because there's not very much yellow. Because all the others have got yellow in. And I think that's what they're missing. So we're just going to add it in over what we've already got. And you can already see that kind of helps to make them come alive a bit. Okay, don't need to be too careful. Just make sure it's sort of in the middle. Because the outside ends tend to be peachy and lighter. And then you get your yellow going into your red. It's like a gradient really. Okay, right. What I might do as well on this one here is with some... Let that red just feed that up. Making it up as I go along, guys. I know what I'm intending to do and I know what I want the kit to be, but I kind of like the fact that whenever I do these tutorials, you're seeing me kind of innovate as I go along. Um, nothing's planned. Um, you're seeing the decisions I make and the mixings that I do as I go. And that's the best way to learn. You want to learn the truth. There's no point having a perfectly pristine finished tutorial because you haven't learnt everything you need to learn. You need to learn about what to do when you've made a mistake. What to do when you're not happy with something. I'm just going to come in a bit darker on that one there. So hopefully you can start to see everything coming together a little bit. Making sure that I'm filling in as well that canvas. You don't want to see any of the white bits or any of the drawing that we had. We need to get rid of that. So I'm just blending back and forth from the point to the middle until we're happy with what we've got. I'm going to try and keep the middle as vibrant as possible. keep coming in at the top until I'm ready and happy that it's as dark as it can be. Now, a little trick to really get those darker areas in is to use a little bit of black and I mean a little bit and mix it in with any colour that you want to be a little bit darker. Okay, and it creates basically a slightly darker, well, a much darker kind of shade than what you already had. So, we can come in from the middle with this much darker colour. It would help if I had some on the brush. And just bring that out. And that helps just to show that, oh, there's no light in here. 
it's much darker and it just makes it more 3D by adding a bit more of that. Hopefully you can see on there at the bottom. It's just making the middle pop a little bit more. So I'm going to do the same on the other ones. We haven't actually gone over those yet with our second layer, but we may as well pop some of that dark in first. We're just, as I said, we're kind of just saying, oh, it's really, really dark here, there's no light. We're just always telling a story when we're painting of what's going on. As you can see, that's really helped to show where, where there's no light and everything's just kind of clouded. But we do now need to come in and do the second layer of those two at the top. And try and make them as effective as the other ones. So I need to get some more magenta again. I do love that magenta pit um, colour. Really nice pigment. Right, so this is underneath. I want to make that one darker. Remember, we're using the brush to go in the direction of the petals. We're coming round and always just trying to. Now, this can be nice and dark here because it's really overshadowed by that plant. So, I'm going to get some of that really dark colour that was just basically the magenta with some black and kind of just blend that in with it. Okay, just make it that little bit darker so that we can see. And I may do the same here. Okay, wash my brush off because that is very dark. Whilst we mix in now the lighter shades, the lighter tints. So we're going to come in here. Oh, it's too watery. Got to be careful that it's not too watery. I can have a habit of doing. I'm actually going to just come in here with some white straight away and kind of blend that in from the ends because I know some of the paint there is still wet. It would be nice to blend that in. Let's get some that middle pink. And again, this one's probably quite dark because it's behind there. Maybe you could just give it some light on its outer edge where the light might be hitting it. Note to self, do not wear this dress again when I'm painting. <laughs> it is massive sleeves and it's dragging in the paint every time I stretch across. My own fault. Right, I don't like this petal here on the side so I'm just going to come in and change that a bit. I'm not happy with it. I think I've got too much light there so I'm going to come in with the more of the middle pink and then blend that in. Better. A bit better, not quite. Let's get some of the magenta on its own. I now need to get a little bit, doesn't seem to be helping. Okay. I'm going to have to let that dry because it doesn't want me to put down any more paint on there. It's saying no more. What happens is until it's dry, um, It can lift the paint off when you brush over, so you have to be really careful. Right, we're going over to the one over here. So basically, you know, once you've done one of these flowers, you get the idea of it. It's the same thing, just thinking about where the dark light and light bits will be. Okay. We were just kind of making this petal up, weren't we? Because we didn't have the full drawing in. Okay. 
Now we're going to go like that. I just might make that one pocket up there. And come round for this one. Make it droopy. There we go. Okay, now we're going to mix in some white and really make that lighter at the ends take the excess paint off your brush right so I want to make this into kind of just one petal coming off over here and the same here and then I think I'm going to add one in here as well Make sure you've got a bit of water on your brush. You don't want it to be too dry, but you don't want it to be too wet. Because if it is too wet, the paint won't sit. There we are. So we're just blending it in with what's already there. This needs to be kind of dark and dark. This bit that I've made up here. <laughs> Gonna get the tips in and then let's get some of that darker colour in there. Great, okay. I'm gonna leave them to dry now and we'll come in and do the final layer of the flowers once we've done the background. So I'm going to get a new tray for this and I'm going to mix up quite a lot of the cyan blue and we're going to put some blue in the background but it's going to be quite a nice vibrant mixture. Okay, so we're going to have quite a bit of dark and then quite a bit of light as well. So I'm just going to grab loads of white and work the white in until I'm getting the shades that I want. And I keep adding the white as the layers come down. It's getting lighter and lighter. Well, actually, it's not because there's still so much blue on my brush. There you go. <clears throat> okay. Now, once you've got the variations in that, I'm just going to get some more white. <laughs> I want some really, really light pale blue. I might have to mix it all in because we do really want it to almost be like a white blue. There we go, that's much better. Much, much better. And we've got lots of it as well, which is good because we're going to need it. Right. What I'm going to do is just come in in the background and I'm not really thinking about strokes, where I'm putting it. I'm going to come in around the flowers, but kind of roughly, it's fine. You don't need to be too neat. I mean, normally if I was painting myself and it wasn't a kit and I hadn't had to draw them on, I probably would have done the background first. But I really do love with these kind of abstract paintings just to come on and do some really kind of rough big strokes in the background. It's a really nice effect. And also, like then, I just press down on my brush and you kind of got some different blues involved. Now I'm going to come in here with like a really dark blue now, talking about getting those different blues involved. And it's really nice to kind of get some different strokes in especially as we've got this nice vibrant tropical feel doesn't need to be all sky blue or anything like that we're just really having some fun with it and what we'll do is we'll properly blend all those different sections together afterwards so i can get a brush a dry brush say we'll use the 
other flat that we've got and if we just oh it would help if that was actually soft okay and we can just kind of blend those colors into each other and there won't be any harsh strokes because we're using a dry brush and we're just skimming over the top can you see how that just softens everything um it's a nice effect you've got to do it before it dries so do it in patches like that just go over and just kind of smooth out the colors blend them together be careful not to mix in too much of what is already there right here you can see that big sweep so let's get rid of that that's dried so let's come in i think with some white here and kind of just start to lighten up that section oh i think one of my lights just died hopefully you can still see i've got another light on right there we go coming in around with my big brush with loads of paint on it we need loads of paint to get our background filled in and if you really were wanting to be particular about the background you could come in afterwards with a smaller brush but do you know what i'm not really bothered i like the fact um, I've done the same on some other ones, I'll show you in a minute. And the end result is really nice when you have a nice kind of rough background, not completely perfectly flat one colour. I might just come in round here with some. I'm going to put it down so that I can just pick up a minute. I've got to be careful though, haven't I now? I've just painted everywhere. Right, I'm just going to come in with a bit of a darker colour down here just create a darker area because I can <laughs> no particular reason just why not so around there and I'm just gonna put some little bits of blue in to show that there's variation in the petals there um, coming around this bit's gonna be the hardest because it's just that little bud isn't it but what we'll do is we'll get that small brush out and we'll come in, we'll come in and do some of the smaller areas, be a bit neater. So we're just going to come in with a nice chunky brush, get some of that blue colour down, have lots of brush marks. I just think it's lovely to have that in there myself. Maybe not everybody. Some people just like to have that nice flat colour in the background. The choice is yours. You do what you want to do with yours when you get the painting kits. This painting kit obviously isn't for sale at the moment because I'm doing it now, doing the tutorial now. And this will be the tutorial that will be uploaded to another video site, another well-known video site. Oh, and um, once I've done that, I'll make the kit available and uh, we can get going. But there are other kits there. I don't know if you can see them. So there's the, we've got the lovely birds there, like a family of birds that I did the other day. And I did wildflowers the other day, which was fun. And that was a very, like a complete beginners. So, yeah. Right, I'm gonna come in now with a smaller brush. So the other ones I was going to say was a lamb, that's quite a long one, that's a complete beginner one. The tulips was really good fun um, and so was the, the seascape. I live in Cornwall in England so I'm surrounded by sea so that may be um, quite a theme at times. Anything outdoorsy I love, anything natural world. I think most painters do, most artists do. Right, so as you can see, I'm coming in, I'm just making it even more kind of choppy. <laughs> um, just having fun with it, really. Yeah, so get some of that dark in as well. Um, I just realised that's all white up there, so I'm going to come in with some darker on top of there. Why not? It's just fun. 
we're at that stage now where we're just playing with the background and finishing it off. So I'm going to come down here, just fill in some of the areas. Sorry if my head's in the way, it's a bad habit. Um, and just put some patches in wherever you want them. <laughs> oh, whoops, sorry for one. This has been a fun one, it really has. Right, we've done the background. We'll let it dry now. We can always come in and do some more layers. Um, well, I will come and do some more layers because I need to do the detail in the corners to tidy it up a bit. Now, 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 we're coming in this time with a round brush and we're going to do some detail to finish off the darks and lights. Now we've done the background, it really does help. We can see where we need to darken and lighten. So I'm making a very deep red, ready orange by mixing yellow and red with some black so that we can have that right in the middle and really create some shadow in there, right? Because it is much darker in the middle and you will get that, that darker shade in the middle there. Don't come out too far, just a bit. Okay. Need to make a bit more. It's like a burgundy colour. to make sure I've got enough on my brush and that my brush is wet enough. Okay. A bit more on this one as well. More water. the same with these ones, we're just coming out from the centre. I'm going to add some more red on that one. Just feel as though there's not enough. Okay. <clears throat> right. Now really you could say this is done, but I am going to come in and continue to add bits wherever I feel the need. And I'm just using washes here, which is basically the colours we've been using. I'm just going over everything just to soften it down. And that helps to blend the colours out into all the other areas then. Basically it's the colours with, as I say, just a bit of water in and that really helps so it doesn't seem to, um, so the colours kind of make sense, they're all a part of the same thing rather than kind of just being all, really dark and then all of a sudden really light. Okay. So it's just that paint colour with a bit of water on. This is what I do at the end of a painting. I just keep going over it until I'm happy with it. But obviously, it's it's absolutely fine as it is, and you could stop. But 
I just love to keep going until I'm I'm like, yep, yeah, it's done now. <laughs> Using the, the round brush just to really bring in some light colour. Really wish to have some more white on the top there. And just really on the tints because on the tints, on the tips. Because that is where. we still live i just had a phone call I just had to cancel it right okay some darker darker colours from the middle I'm actually taking some from the darker in there and put it in there but I kind of like that no no that's not dark enough Now I'm coming in right into the middle and just picking, well, it's almost black. It's not quite black, but it's almost black. There we go, that is black. <laughs> and I'm just squiggling it in, really. Oh, we've got some white noise come up. The spa music has ended. I can't listen to that. Let's try again. Go. Oh, couldn't cope with that. <laughs> right, so into the middle, just squiggle it in, just a little bit, to show that there's literally no light in there, and it is just black. think we should have some much lighter parts on those petals so let's keep going as I say you can stop there but I just want to keep going just a little bit longer maybe just kind of put up some highlights like that that aren't white, but they're the yellow that we had. Let's just kind of, I don't know, just lighten them up a bit and gives them a highlight towards the tips. And then I might actually be happy. <laughs> yeah. I like that, that nice light lemony yellow. Rather than just using the white, lovely. I think that's finished it off beautifully. <coughs> so make sure we're coming up from the tips of it. Nice big strokes. Lovely. Yeah, that's made a big difference. We want those nice light tips. 
in there with that yellow because I think that's made a big difference. To be honest, it's just with painting, it's just about completely just going in and doing lots of layers until you're totally happy. There we go. And coming in here. Sorry, heading away again. Lightening up just the tips of this one. because my brush is getting dry and then just a little bit here and literally just go around now and adding it wherever I feel like it needs it that's literally all I'm doing <laughs> because all these layers they make a difference they make a difference they make it more 3d we are nearly done um, let's have a look we need different kind of highlights on our pinky one pinky ones they seem much much lighter almost as white I think, and that will really help to kind of just put some little strokes in like that. We don't have to do all the blending now. We're just adding some little white strokes. Remember, these are beginner painter kits, okay? Beginner, sort of, you can do it as complete beginners or a beginner with a bit of practice. <laughs> To be honest, you, you know, you, the further you take it, the more layers you do. It doesn't really matter how experienced you are. Um, we might actually bring some pink into this one. Just in the middle there. Because why not? We're the artists, we can do whatever we decide. I want to bring some pink into this one. Because why not? They're kind of all around each other. So they kind of would kind of be bouncing off each other, wouldn't they? Well, I think so. <laughs> so yeah, let's just add some of that in. Why not? Gorgeous. There we go. Not too much, just a little bit in areas. It's the lighter version of the pink, so it will need to just be on the ends of the petals. I think that helps to kind of really finish it off. I want to get some white, really, really, really white little specks in because we've got our dark in the middle. If we can get some really bright whites on the end, I'm going to get a smaller brush. You've got it in your pack, it's a smaller white, and that really helps also just to add some complete white highlights in, but just little ones where the light would be shining most at the end and then we're going to go back and finish off the background and then we're done you know be quite bold with them don't worry too much you know at the end of the day this is an abstract kind of painting we're not going for realism here it's just learning all those different strokes and what to do with the different brushes and having some fun with it and I always think it's good to do a painting once and then do it again to get it exactly how you want it because you don't know if you want to have an actual final copy though okay and 
just a little white mark here and here. Just putting them as though they're kind of going in the shape of the petals, as though the light's just hitting them like on these bumpy bits, which would be the middle bits as they go round and a little bit on the end. And you could even just have a few in the middle like that, just to show that the light's bouncing there. Because that's the middle bit where, the, where we put the yellow kind of you want to have some kind of highlight there as well. Let's put some in. Ooh. Didn't mean to do that, but hey. <laughs> Looks fine. Right. So now we're going to come in in the background with our round. Using the blues that we already mixed. And we just kind of want to make sure that we've got everything where we need. We're still going to keep it patchy and rough, but we'll just scumble it in just to make it a bit more smoothed out. Make sure you've got enough water on your brush so that you can scumble it in nicely. Okay, so we're just going to smooth out that background now. We'll add a bit of paint to our brush and we'll just go over everything and just get it how we want it but I do want to keep the background kind of rough still kind of just faded into the background but I do want to make sure we've come in where we need to come in and it doesn't matter if we go over the edges of the flowers it really doesn't matter so if you see any bits in that background you think oh I don't like that just go over it and do what I'm doing we're scumbling in just a bit of paint and kind of evening everything out. Just work your way around the whole thing until you are happy with it. I quite like adding darker bits in as well. But we need to do these two layers because otherwise you, um, you'll be seeing the canvas underneath and we don't want that. Try and go carefully around your flowers. We don't really want to ruin them too much. As I say, it doesn't matter if you go over them a bit, but we don't want to go over them too much. I'm just going to come over that there. And yeah, literally just going to go around now and scumble in my paint. Scumbling is basically using a dry-ish brush and just scrubbing, <laughs> scrubbing the paint in. And what it does is give us this kind of softened background but be careful because it can ruin your brushes maybe use an old one mine is old so it's all right um, if you have any old ones um, I've missed a bit here so I'm going to come in with some decent amount of paint on my brush and just come round and another bit here I'm going to get my smaller brush because there are some really small little bits that I need to get that background into, which is fine. But again, I'm not worrying too much about detail. It's fine. But I don't want to see the white canvas. So that's what we've got to cover up, really, because it's really noticeable when you step back from a painting if there's any white gaps. So we need to make sure we've come in and filled those little gaps in. There we go. Now we can, see I've got some darker blue there and I quite like to scumble some of that in in places. Just because I think the background isn't going to be one colour and so we're just going to move little bits here and there. Just add some almost 
like just a pure colour. But we've got to be careful because the background isn't completely dry yet and then you can get your sticky colours. In other words, it's just going to stick to the paint and it'll start pulling the paint up. That's nice. I'm happy with that. I'll come in there a bit as well. But I love these kind of rough backgrounds where there isn't really any detail, but I like it more than having just a, a plain flat colour. Let's mix some other colour in there. Look. There we go. I'm almost tempted to just come in with some of the other colour in there and just put some dots around. That doesn't look so nice. It's got some brown. We don't want brown. Um, let's make some more of our original colours. Let's go and get some orange. And we can come in and kind of just dot some of our other colours around. I just think that looks really nice. We could even go over, over the other flowers. Literally, I'm just doing dots. <laughs> All it needs to be. <laughs> Just a little collection of dots. Doesn't need to be a pattern to it. We will do splatters in a minute because I love splatters. But I want to get some of those dots down first. Magenta. Okay. All these little finishes, they do make a difference to the final composition. Um, we can even go over some of the flowers a little bit. Put some little dots on them like that. Pretty. Mm. Let's get me some paper towel. What I want to do now is do the same but with some white. Make sure my brush is round at the tip. Otherwise we won't get little dots here. And we'll just get scratchy, horrible messes. There we go. going on up here as well. Let's just scratter some little white bits up there. Okay. Let's get some. I think if we do yellow, it's going to look green on the background, so we might not bother with that so much. But let's get some of the light magenta. Oh, my brush isn't round. But I'm really make sure the point of your brush is nice and round. Put some more white in there. <laughs> make it stand out. Okay, time for a few splashes and then we are done. We're going to use the biggest round that we have here. What you need to do is just really water down your paint and splash. Now I've got blue, so we need to splash this over our flowers, obviously, because it won't be seen on the background. Okay, then we're going to get some white and really water that down and do some white splash 
There's a little bit of blue in there, but that's okay. I like it sometimes when they get like big splodges. Oh, it's getting wet everywhere. I like the white everywhere, that looks nice. Right, and a little bit of yellow, I think, and then we're done. Just some few, a few of those yellow water splashes would be lovely. Oh, I just mixed it in with the blue. Can't be having that. I just want yellow splashes. goes my canvas there I'm splashing some of that yellow in because it is in there and I think it's nice to bring it into the painting love it tropical flowers splash should we call it <laughs> why not and just really just get some colors in there see look when you put the yellow on the blue it kind of mixes and make a green so it's not that nice but it is nice to have it splashed in and show it up on the painting. I think we're done. I think we're done. I hope you enjoyed that, anyone that watched. And um, yeah, see you in the next one. Hi guys, um, I'm just adding this on to the end of the video because I realised when I um, did this live on TikTok, this this um version of the painting that's going to be a painting kit i didn't put any of the the foliage in the leaves in the background so let's do that now i'm just going to come in with the angled brush that is in your set um i think actually i'm gonna that's the older one i'm gonna use a new one now because i've overused that old one it's it's had its day I am actually going to use a palette knife. Now these don't come in the kit. You can just use your brush, one of your brushes, preferably your bigger brush, just to scoop out the paint and do what I'm doing with this. So you can just do that. So I'm going for that vibrant green because I may or may not use it. I haven't decided yet. It is a lovely, nice, vibrant green all on its own, the mid green. But I'm not sure if I'm going to use it yet. Um... When you're using a palette knife, if you do decide to invest in one, you just need some tissue at hand just to wipe the colour off. And then we need some mid yellow and some ultramarine. And this comes up with a really nice natural green. Okay, now that's quite dark, which is fine because then we can put some dark parts in on the leaf. But then what we can do is add white to a bit of that. Okay, and it gives us a nice lighter version of that green. We don't want it to be too light. We can always make it lighter and go in with the highlights afterwards. So just kind of use half of that first mix to get the kind of mid green that we're looking for. We don't want it to be too light. So I think I'll add a little bit more, sorry, the ultramarine and a little bit more of the Magello into that mixture where the white is just to give me more colour to go with. I don't want to use all the dark because I'll come in with some of that at the end. There we go. We've got a nice mid-green colour. So I'm going to come in again with the blue and the yellow to make another green and then we really can use that with the white as a much lighter colour. So we've got our dark green again that's over here. Then you need to get some white and just add that into that green so that we get a very light green colour. Okay, 
Now we're going to do just some very simple strokes with that. Okay, so we're going to use our line, our uh, um, angle brush. Take off the paint as much of the paint as you can. Uh, sorry, the water as you can. You don't want it to be too watery. And then I would come in myself with this mid-range green. Make sure we've got lots on the edge of the brush because that's what we're going to be using mostly. Now what I want to do is kind of paint in where I think there will be a nice kind of, we can even come around here, okay, a nice branch of green. I'm going to make it a bit darker so that it does actually show up. Now we want this to be the thicker part of the branch anyway, so make it thicker, that's fine. Always have a rag nearby as well, so when you've washed out your brush, you can then get the excess water off and maybe any excess, a little bit of excess paint that might be left, okay? Because you don't want it to be too watery. Now, um, I'm looking at this and I'm, I'm going to come in with the same mid colour and what we're going to do is kind of bring some strokes out this way to kind of develop this um, leafy, <laughs> I was going the wrong way then, start in the middle and come out light, uh, come out towards the end to create these lovely little leafy branches, okay? Um, we will need to have them coming out from behind the flowers as well, otherwise it won't look natural. Okay, so just draw some in, just lightly. They can actually be coming over the top of the flowers a little bit, It'll give it a nice effect. So we want to just have just some green there behind, just to show that, um, there's some leaves here, okay? Great, right. Then I want to come from this side and kind of bring one round here. And we are just kind of, remember coming from the center and out. Um, we're just gonna bring some of those leaves out so they come quite far because it really does finish off the painting um, but I just completely forgot during the live when I recorded this on TikTok that's why you're going to have an upright version of me starting it off and then it's going to suddenly become um, YouTube uh, landscape towards the end so don't worry about being too careful like I say you can go over some of those petals it's fine um, they can be coming over like this, it's gone underneath that one and now it's coming over this one and I think that looks nice. Now I'm going to get some of that darker green and just maybe kind of put some of those darker greens, can you see, in the middle where there's going to be a bit less light. just need to get the brush, off, paint off my brush a bit so that I'm just picking up that green. We really just want the green, there we go. especially just on the end of the brush because that's where the darkest bits will be. Can you see? There we go. Um, and that's all I'm doing really. I'm just trying to create a little bit of depth by having some shadow here and there. Um, especially if it's underneath another flower, you want to be making sure it looks like it's um, a little bit darker. But don't worry too much. Again, this is a very abstract piece. So it's... Uh, you don't have to worry too much. Just enjoy the process. 
this is what I want you to do with all of my paint kits. Enjoy the process. Just have some nice, um, relaxing paint time. There we go. I'm happier now. I'll put that in. Um, a little bit more here, I think. Needs to be. I might come over that one a bit there, that little one. Right, I'm going to wash my brush off, get rid of the dark now. And we can come in with that lighter colour, but actually I want to make it more yellowy. I want it to be a real lovely yellow green. And at the moment that's too kind of pastel green. What I love about tropical plants is that they can have this really lovely yellow green feel to them. So we're going to try that and put this more on the tips uh, because this is where the light will be hitting um, right on the ends. And also it's where the older part of the plant is and that lighter colour usually means it's a bit crisper, been crisped in the sun and it's a bit older and slightly dying. Hopefully we can see that, we can get some nice big strokes in there. Okay, and some more on the ends here. And a little bit down the middle where the light might be hitting it, right. So here we can really come out with some of this nice yellowy green and just get some more yellow, make sure I've got enough mixed up there. We don't want it to be yellow, we want to make sure it is a yellowy green. And some of these leaves might be totally that light orangey colour. There we go. It's kind of hiding behind that one. I like that effect. I'm just going to come in with some of the darker here to show that it is actually coming from there. I'm just clearing out my brush. It's a bit noisy in the background, isn't it? Just come and get some more of that dark there and just bring a bit more of that in to the bottom and kind of bring it up a little bit. getting enough on my brush so if you go to your canvas and there's not much coming off your brush you just haven't got enough on there that's all that is and I think we're nearly done let's come and put a bit more over here but it is much darker over there because it's kind of hidden away <laughs> so that's fine this is a bit too see-through so if it's a bit transparent, we'll need to go over it again with a darker colour. Need to make sure we can see that those ones are going over. That's it. And then we'll get this here. Really, really dark in the middle. pressing a little bit harder in the middle now to create like a leaf shape it's just because I want to really um, make sure the darker bits in the middle are a bit more filled in mm. want to make sure that it's not too thin there in the middle that's helped that's better um, and I feel that here we need to have them kind of drooping a bit more coming out from behind that's better and we'll get some of this lighter yellowy green and come over and put, get some of that in there as well ok 
Okay, that's nice. Perfect. Okay, I don't think we really need anything else on there apart from our final highlights with our very light green here, which we can just come in with here on some of the ends. We've already done our highlights with the yellowy green, so it may not make a big difference, but I still think it's worth putting in. But of course you don't have to. Maybe I'll get a bit more white in there. We want it to be a very pale green. Yeah, that's nice. Because all plants have a variation in their greenness. It's important to get as much different kind of variations in as we can. Um, I'm just really playing now. I've looked, stepped back and just decided where I wanted to add maybe some longer strokes, some lighter, paler strokes. But I think we'll stop there before I completely ruin the whole thing, which can happen if you overwork things. So we'll leave it there. Hopefully um, you've enjoyed that and you want to have a go at that the kits will should be linked in the video below if not they're on my website and all links are in the comments please subscribe like share do whatever you can to help my channel grow it's very very much appreciated thank you